Hi guys and welcome back to Popcorn Simulation Gaming. So I've played this game now um, actually for 17 hours. Um, I thought I thought it was uh, a little bit uh, less than that. I thought it was 12 but I've gone into game and it says 17. Um, yet there's a few problems with it. Uh, not least actually the wheel. The uh, Thrustmaster T248 that I'm on is just not registering at times so when I restart the game let's say I come out of the game and I've gone into another app or I've gone into another game and I come back and I, I restart the game the wheel doesn't register I'm having to come out of the game two or three times or I'm having to re-download re the game for the uh, wheel to then register so I don't know if anybody else on uh, Xbox Series X is having this problem. If you could let me know, I'd, I'd really appreciate that. Um, it's so bloody frustrating. Um, waited so long for wheel support for a decent game and now the bloody wheel doesn't work. We never have any luck, do we? Um, apart from that, the game's playing alright. The game's got tons of um, bits of things freezing and the trees are shaking and... Yeah, graphically sometimes it looks a bit crap. But my, my main issue actually, we'd, we've now hit the snow, this is where I'm at, I've got the C2 look. Is my wheel not registering to the game? And as I said, I shouldn't have to keep downloading the game, deleting it and downloading it, for this to actually acknowledge my wheel. But these are all stuff they're probably going to iron out. I suggest anybody not buying this yet, or have, haven't bought it yet, don't touch it. If, you, if you're waiting for a really good wheel experience, don't touch this till they've updated the wheels. There's no force feedback coming through. Um, let's, go, let's go get a job while we're chatting anyway. Let's get the engine off. Because um, my time's running down, look. So, yeah, we've hit it when it's snowing. I've done some decent runs on the wheel with it. But as I said, there's no force feedback. You don't feel anything like zero zilch. Um, I'll show you around the yard a little bit, look. I think this is what we'll be taking. The snow looks pretty cool, and it does melt away like, you know, it, it would do. Um... Right, we've got our job. It does, at the back of the wheels, it does squash down and, like, melt down like you would if you... And you're leaving tracks as well, look, just quickly. So I'm leaving my own tracks. Um, so the snow effect's Okay. Rain effects is a little bit weird as well on this. The rain the rain actually is not hitting the windscreen. And I didn't notice that on the other live streams that I did. Let's get engine started. Let's have a look. And break off. And you just see that where it's flashing on the uh, JCB behind my truck. That's what we're picking up our load, but I suggest when it's snowy, look, they ought to change it flashing white because it's really difficult to see, look. And when you're in a truck yard full of lorries, you don't see that. I suggest they, they, they put something like a, maybe a, an ice blue around it flashing so you can see it against the snow. Well, they're just niggly things, but look, can you see that flashing there in the background, look? And the frame rate drops really bad as well. I didn't notice that on launch. Maybe I was looking through it through rose tinted glasses because it were a brand new game. And uh, yeah, you, you get excited, don't you? So yeah, I'm finding loads of little faults. But I am 17 hours into the game now. So I am seeing quite a bit that I actually didn't see before. And it's not a put off for anybody, guys, because I'm telling you, this is a really good game. And I'm sure... The guys have worked so hard on a year to bring it from PC to console that they will fix it, but it's going to take some time. So, yeah, look at this. You get this across the map. That flash in there, look. Anybody with sensitive eyes, is it uh, photo sensitivity, shouldn't play this game. Not right now, because that's, uh, that's going to send you into a fit. Anyway, let's get this let's get this fastened up. This is a new one for me. So yeah, this is like an automatic. Um Now then, where's that gone then? I haven't even got my bloody Ah, that's why. I need to lock it into place, look. Then this one. Yeah, this is like 
This is different thing. This is like an automatic lift. So this is new on a trailer. I've not seen this before. Stand up. But yeah, the modelling's really nice, guys, isn't it? You know, that's as good as uh, truck and logistics. It's as nice as American Dream Truck Driver. And the snow, as I've said, is perfect. The snow's really good. They just... It's just... Uh, it's the little bits of the game that start annoying you. Traffic don't, sem uh, don't tend to be... Uh, now then, why is that giving me that way round? Yeah, look at now, look at that. That's That shouldn't be doing that like that. That should just... Yeah, it shouldn't be like that. Look, it's sticking. Um, yeah, AI traffic sometimes stops, sometimes doesn't. It depends what you're passing. And you have got AI traffic that's like kamikaze, that's skidding all across the road. That's a bug that needs fixing. I have been on their Discord, um, and their bug section is absolutely packed. So people are logging them. I've logged a couple, and the devs are going to get through it, and I promise they will get through it. They've been, you know, they've been brilliant so far. But yeah, this is the C2 I bought. This is now the second generation truck. I didn't put a skin on it because I didn't have enough because I got a loan for this. Let's uh, let's get in. I've got enough food at the minute and I've got enough sleep. I'll show you around this one. This is the new cab. It's quite nice. And if you think of the cab in uh, Truck Driver American Dream, I mean, it's, it's crap in it. You know, this is all analog, and it, this is quite nice. Let's get us started up. Now everything everything is on. Eater's on. Don't forget it's winter, guys. I do have a coat on. Yeah, look at that. That should not be doing that. gonna go out here I'm just gonna I'm just staying on the controller a minute while we get out of this so we can see but yeah look at the snow behind the wheels it looks pretty mint doesn't it and you know yourself if you're driving or, or you you know you're in a in, in a cat that's terrible though look at that that shouldn't be doing this and the snow there stopped packing down look that's uh Sorry I didn't change my truck with a skin on it, because actually it's pretty difficult to see it in the bloody snow, isn't it? But yeah, the trees here look mint, don't they? And the artwork's fantastic. This is nice. This is really nice. But we'll uh, we'll just point out some of the bits as we go along. So I'm having... I, I'll tell you the truth. I'm, I'm kind of pissed off and a little bit... Uh, downhearted because the wheel's not working right and the wheel's not connecting right every time I, I come out the game try another app come back in it's not working I then have to download the game again and keep doing that till I get basically a you know a, a, a game where it kicks in where my wheel kicks in I'm probably not explaining it too well but I'm trying to do the best I can I mean there the artwork looks lovely the mountains look good the frame drops, actually, I didn't notice, are pretty bad. They are pretty bad. But look at that behind the car. That's that's pretty cool, isn't it? And can you see the snow's actually staying there? You know, the lines are there, aren't they? We've not had that before in a game. They normally disappear. I haven't seen them disappear, so we'll watch out for that. But yeah, look at the depth of the look at the depth of the forest there, and then into the mountains. Look, that is really cool. Now then, watch this. Watch watch that mountain lobbing at the top. He's not doing it again now. Yeah, it's, do you know what? It's frame rate. It's wheel support. Um, I have read one guy saying that is is drove. For, 300 mile on their discord page and he, he hasn't even run out of fuel yet and they were like yay infinite fuel but that's not what the game's about is it they've got to fix it we don't want infinite fuel do we yeah they, now the lines are disappearing a little bit there look 
Let's just see. Let him get in front. Let's watch him. How far do they stay? Yeah, they stop there, look. And they've yeah, there's a little bit of gaps, look. Yeah, you can see it's a bit of it and miss, but all in all, that's not too bad. And this this in the snow, I've got to say, looks lovely. And I mean that it looks stunning. I am on the controller, guys, so uh, bear with me. I'm crap on a controller, as you all know. I'm not that good on a wheel, but. I'm a little bit better on the wheel than I am on a controller. I've checked for updates today to see if they've pushed anything out and they haven't. Um, but I reckon it's still early, isn't it, for them? Um, you know, they're just getting all the bug reports and stuff in. Apart from that, apart from... And it is only day one and I've got to keep telling myself that. It's not a criticism of the game because I, I really, really like it. My, my, I can put up with frame drops, to be fair, right now. Um, my big bugbear right now is I need this on the wheel. You know, we've waited a year for this. And, yeah, I've been playing this on GeForce now purely on controller and been rubbish at it. I've got to say, the control on here on controller is far superior than it is on GeForce now. I've not been on there since this was launched, so maybe that had the update. Yeah, look at the animals there. Look at that. You see them really clearly, look. The wildlife in the game. That's really, really sweet, isn't it? That's real. That 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 makes the game feel real, like you're out there, you know, driving in the wilderness of Alaska. So yeah, we've, we're probably going to falter on this uh, delivery, guys. I won't. Excuse me. <coughs> I was purely wanting just to bring you a little update after the hours I've put into this and the um, you know the snow because we hit the snow and I thought my goodness not you know I've not showed you guys the snow if you've not got the game but this basically winter is what we, and we're only we're not we're not middle winter yet are we? We, we we're coming into it there is ice on the floor and when you hit the ice um, you can skid and I've got to say guys whatever you do as soon as soon as you get your truck whether you're in spring or summer buy yourself chains and put them in your um, truck and save them till the winter comes because I'm telling you I bought this and then didn't have chains for it and then had to drive to a shop it's barely controllable and you're skidding all over the place it's fun but you are skidding all over the place without chains, so you must buy chains and get them on at the start of winter. I don't know how long the chains last, whether they snap, um, and then you've got to find another shop to, to get chains. I don't know. That's something... That I've never, ever played this game in winter, even on GeForce Now. So this is kind of brand new to me as well. But, yeah, this is, this is lovely, isn't it? Look at the artwork. It's stunning, isn't it? I must get a different coloured skin though for my truck. I can't have a white truck in a in a white background. It's a bit too much. Yeah, look at that. I've read some complaints saying that um, it looks like a, a well-made mobile game. Um, that's rubbish, absolutely rubbish. Yeah, there's some brilliant mobile games out there, but they don't have maps the size of this, you know. Yeah, the artwork can be as good on a mobile game and a tablet game, but no, I think it's I think it's better than that. I really do, and I think that's a shame as well. We know the devs put their arts into this, and they've kept the community basically up to date as much as they can aren't they from day one or from what i whenever i've been on their discord and read there's always a dev on there explaining something or saying something so i i, I could never say that uh, 
the devs haven't been there for the community because I think they have. But yeah, expect the this is a wipeout, guys. This is what winter's going to be like. I must admit, when it first started snowing in winter, it was snowing, but it was snowing like probably 20 feet away from the window. So when you were driving along, you, there was like 20 feet in front of you where it was snowing, but where you were driving, it wasn't snowing. So I reckon that's something they'll fix as well. I think the weather system does need fixing. The rain's kind of odd. Um... Yeah, I had a, I had, let me just open a Pepsi, guys. I had a, I had a situation where I was driving along, I got my windscreen wipers on, and I did have, I did have kind of a misty rain on the window, but the rain, the rain droplets weren't hitting the window. But to be fair, do you know what I mean? It's a brand new game, it's just launched, and it will have problems. It will have problems. And they're not overly major. Yeah, I can't use the wheel, but I can use the controller. The controller's decent enough to play. I mean, look at this. This is stunning. Look at that as a backdrop. Absolutely lovely. I love it. Absolutely love it. The trees look really like... Yeah. You know, it's winter. They've gone brown. The snow's in the leaves. It's cool. My other my other gripe would be with this game, and they're gonna probably say, "Oh, what do you want? Do you want um, good frame rate, or do you want bad frame rate and lorries?" Where's the other guys driving and taking cargo? We have that cement mixer lorry, and we have a few cars, and I think I think I've seen um, pickup like a pickup truck thing driving round, but there's no no lorries like this with cargo going up and down the roads it's alaskan road truckers not alaskan road single trucker so yeah i hope i hope that they bring now then i i am running down of petrol we've only 156 miles to go so we'll carry on um that's ice there guy i believe that's ice on the floor there Oh, it's badly implemented snow. I think that's ice underneath that snow. Um, so, yeah, I hope there's going to be some more trucks actually driving around. You get your cars, look. Police is there. And that's all really good. I love all that. And now I'm getting into actually the man management side of it rather than just driving around. I'm loving it. It's really, like, interesting. You know, you've got to remember everything. You've got to have a scraper for your window. You've got to wear a coat. You've got to have enough food. You've got to have enough petrol. You've got to have medication in case you crash and you need a painkiller. There's loads to it and it is so, so good. But I would say, yeah, if you get it now, it's playable and you see I'm enjoying it. But if you're on a wheel, don't get it yet. Wait till force feedback is implemented and wait till the wheels are fixed, guys. Now, watch the frame drops here. We were having some then. Um, wait till the wheel's done. You don't want to have to keep downloading the game like I'm doing just to get a session on your wheel. It's frustrating, it angers you, and it, it pisses you off. And it has done me. But I'm sure they're on it. I'm sure they're talking to the powers that be, either Thrustmaster or, you know, Sony or... Microsoft, whoever they have to talk to, they're aware of it. I've sent bug reports of it, and I have got bug reports of it. So yeah, we've just got to let them do the job and finish it. But I'd say if you're on the if you're only a controller player, get it. The co look at me, I'm driving on controller, and I've never been this smooth ever. If you're on controller, get it, guys. If you're on a wheel, and you are really you cannot wait to get on the wheel and get driving this wait guys if you get the experience i'm having it's going to really there we go another frame frame rate drop look it's uh, it's going to pee you off so i definitely wait for it to be fixed but it does look nice doesn't it it really does 
and you can't you can't take away from that you can't the artwork it doesn't look like a a, a, a mobile game no it does not I don't agree with that the map's fairly massive and let's face it you're gonna tear us round at 53 mile an hour everywhere you go you're soon gonna fill you're soon gonna do every part of the map no if you stick to the speed limits when you know you're at a 15 or a 25 then the map's gonna be massive to you and it's gonna take you a while yeah you've got to beat your timings up there of your delivery but I'm sure sticking to the actual road signs of 15, 25, even 44, 50 if you stick to it you're going to get there in time make sure you buy a chainsaw at the start guys as well you're going to need that I, I had one I didn't realise that actually and I think this is right I used it and now I don't have it so I think you've got to keep buying this chainsaw I'm sure you do it, it wasn't in my inventory after I'm just having a vape sorry after after using it so I used the scraper on the windscreen that didn't I've still got the scraper now then look at that I'm not so bothered about the screen being wet when you're in this mode. I wish they wouldn't do that, put water on the, the actual screen. If you want to see that, you, you look through your windscreen, don't you? It's a shame we've no licensed trucks, but it is what it is. Obviously, they couldn't get the licenses for it. Hopefully, that changes, you know, that the uh, truck companies realise the amount of people that's going to play this and they might start sticking some in I hope they do be nice whoops look at them they've had a skid AI's not bad it's better than truck driver American dream it goes around junctions really like smoothly so that's not bad look at that over there that's what I'm saying look look at that I mean who wouldn't want to play a game like this it's stunning isn't it Absolutely stunning. Yeah, sometimes when you park, they'll crash right back into the back end of you, and then you get fined, which uh, that's a bit annoying. Let's watch him. Look, he's crashed into me, but he didn't hit me hard enough. But I've had it where they've hit me, and then I've been fined for causing an accident. So that's something maybe they can look at. Eighty-eight mile to go, guys, and I will cut this short. You don't want to hear me rambling on, do you? I just, I, I, I will do another video with just the gameplay um, of the drive actually through the snow. I was hoping it was going to snow really heavy to show you what the snow is like. It's trying, it's trying. Let's, let's hope. There's a few clouds building. Look, let's hope it does. That looks like a storm in front of us coming. Let's, uh, let's jump back in the cab. Right, let's get the lights on. Now then, I think... Oh, they, they come on. Yeah, this is nice, isn't it? Nice truck look. Yeah, I wish that would stay down there. I'd like to see that. I don't know if there's a... Whoops. I don't know if there's a uh, way of setting that setting there where I'm looking now. If you watch, it bounces back up. And that's done that just itself. To me, that's just... A, I want to take off the, the hood and actually use that satellite navigation on the right. I don't want that on the, the left-hand side. If you watch it, look as we drive that'll just bounce back up there you go and that you only see that little part of the sat nav 
I don't know if there's a seat setting, but I'll tell you what, let's see. Is there a seat setting? Can you actually change your seat? Now, the virtual mirrors, guys, I did find from the last video, it's on your D-pad and it's right. You hold it and they'll come on. It's there, look, on the left-hand side, you can see on the D-pad settings. Um, cockpit camera, heater, has us none of that there. And then there's your, your general, which is... Let's have a look. Yeah, you, you can turn your HUD off and on, look. If I turn it off, right, but I've only got... You can only see that. I don't. I want it to be, probably, I'd like it to be about there. Maybe a little bit higher. Probably there, look. You can see the speed you're going at, your speedometer. You can also see satellite navigation. There you go, and it's bounced back up again. So I hope I hope that's something in future that can have a look at. Yeah, I've missed. I've missed. I'm gonna have to turn around, guys. We'll go down here and turn around. I see looking at the bloody hood, isn't it? Get that back on so I can actually see. So let's have a look. So I'll get them two wrong. back on there we are it's bounced back in again look we're going to come off, off this bridge and come back again but yeah the mirrors are on look at the mirrors guys look how look how awful those mirrors are look at the frame rate it's about three frames a second isn't it that's dreadful so yeah I, I if I let's just stop if I try the other mirrors now then watch these mirrors I, I couldn't play like that with that behind me I'd sooner not see the mirrors at all and see that Oh, we've got to sleep now, isn't it? We're nearly there, though. I have asked for that to, to for them to make this sleep come in later. If you if you look, it's coming in about twenty past two on the clock with that uh, lightning flash on the left hand side. Look under the hood, under the satellite nav. It starts yawning from then. You can drive miles with him just yawning, and I'd sooner that starts later so you don't get all that yawning for miles. But yeah, there's a few flaws. It's not perfect, but you know what? My goodness, it's a bloody good game. And rest assured, I would I would say these guys are definitely they've definitely got this under control and they will be sorting it out. Now we're gonna be over here, aren't we? Where's our parking spec? Up here, a little bit further up. Yeah, we're going in here, aren't we? Oh, we were there, look. That's hard to see in the bloody snow, isn't it? Better than all that silly um, flashy light. Let's go round again. Oh, the big one's there. It's going to be easy for me, look. Yeah, that should be like an ice blue colour, shouldn't it? Do you not agree? Underneath the snow, like, make it look like the tree colour blue. Like an ice colour blue. And that way you'd see it a lot better. That's that's kind of tricky to see that. You see it more now we're on it. Um, yeah, I know we'll be there in a minute, mister. We'll get you... Uh, that off, that off. Let's get out. 
So yeah, I hope I hope, uh, I hope you're enjoying it if you are playing it. As I've said, it's a it's a bloody good game. It's just got a few problems. It's got a, a, a few teething problems, and I would say rest assured that these guys, you see, look, that's not it's not going to the green one. Look to uh, take my plug out. That's a bug. Look, I want to be, yeah. Look at that. I can't. I don't want to, I want that to go down to the green socket. That's telling me to switch sides. Let's try it this way then. That's back in. Let's take it out. Let's come round. Ah, uh, maybe maybe you have to be on that side for that then. Let's try the red one from there. I thought you could just reach across. Yeah, it does work on the red. So, yeah, the green one were a bit of a bug. That uh, that wasn't right. And then we can unlock it. No, we can't because we've got to lower it, haven't we? Did we do that already? Did we do this already? There we are, lowering down up. That's pretty neat, isn't it? Now we can unlock it. And that's his load. We can... Uh... Where's his hut? Oh, sod off. I mean, look at all the time he's got left. He doesn't need to be yawning. If he started yawning about ten past on that little clock they've got, or the dial it's on, at ten past the uh, clock would be so much better. Right, we need to find the guy's hut, don't we? I don't think that's the right one, is it? I bet I've just dropped it off at the wrong friggin' place. What's flashing though, wasn't it? Ah. Oh, you shit. It is, it's over there, look. I'm sure it is. Well, I'm just going to see if he's going to pay me. I bet he tells me to piss off and go get another... Where is his hut? Do these guys out here have anything to do with it? Let's just see. Let's see he was there, wasn't he? Let me uh, turn that, turn that, turn that off, and let's just jump out and ask. I think I've dropped it off at the wrong place. Yeah, you've already got an active job, look. Right, okay, guys, I need to, uh, to sort that out. I've just gone and dropped my load off at the wrong bloody place. It says I've no miles to go, though, look. It says I've, I'm there, so uh, I don't know. Let's, let, let's go back and have a look. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll finish this off. He needs to sleep. I need to find out where I'm supposed to bloody be. But I just thought I'd show you the snow, show you how it's looking, and just tell you, you know, what I've encountered on the game. Um, you may have encountered stuff yourselves. But as I said, don't panic. I am absolutely 100% convinced these guys are already fixing stuff now. Um, but I would say, if you're on the wheel and you're wanting a nice experience on the wheel, don't get it yet till we all know the wheel's fixed. No force feedback, and as I said, it's taken at least three to four times of downloading the game, taking the game out for me to actually get the wheel to work. So, uh, yeah, that's no fun at all, and that's a bit stressful. I hope that helps, guys. Lovely, lovely that you came in to have a look. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you real soon. That's Popcorn out. Bye-bye.